Hello everyone, this video I will show you our new product. We have designed this new KC868 E8T board. In this board, also we have used the ESP32 module, but have made some innovation on this board. And at the first, we have added the energy meet function. So this time you can monitor your energy meet, uh, such as the voltage of the load, and the current, and the power, and the energy consumption of this board. So this board also you can integrate to Home Assistant by ESP Home because we have used the chip, the energy chip that's supported by the Home Assistant. And also you can use the Tuya application uh, to remote control this 8 relay and uh, monitoring the temperature sensor from DS18B20 temperature sensor. Or you can monitor the volt and the power and the current and the power consumption uh, for this board remotely by internet. And if you have no network, no Wi-Fi, so this time we have added a 4G module on this board. So you can send short message to remote country any relay, this 8-channel relay, uh, such as Tungal Relay 1 or Tungal Relay 1, just by short message, so that you not need to install any software, any, any phone, just send a short message. And also this board, you can use the 433 megahertz, uh, this remote, to country every relay. So there are many country ways for this board, uh, by 433 MHz remote, uh, by Tuya application, or by home assistant in local network, or by 4G, or by SMS. And also you can write any, any other code uh, to use this ESP32 with the 4G module or with the energy meet chip that according to your project needs. Okay, let's look at some hardware details and I will show you uh, the demo video uh, in later. Okay, let's look at some hardware details and this is the PCB board have installed the shoe, that plastic shoe, so that you can install on the DIN rail, just like this. So this board support install to your power distribution box very easily. Here you can see the PCB board. Uh, this is in front of the PCB board, and here is the back. This is the back. And then let's look at some hardware details. And this is ESP32 at the Ethernet. And the USB is for debug and download firmware. And here you can see that these two buttons, the ESP32 reset, and the program IO0 that can be used by your code. And this is Tuya module. This right module is Tuya. And this is config Tuya network. And this antenna. This antenna you can just install uh, by this way. Here you can see. Just connect with this socket. And here we can see this interface. Uh, you can see here is for DS18B20 temperature sensor, that VCC ground and the date. And here you can see the A and B, that is for IS485 communication and the ground. And here you have the digital input, that have 8 channel digital input, because that can manually control by this relay. And here you can see also have this button. This button you can testing and control this relay easily. And here have some LED indicate that LED indicate when the key pressed the LED indicator will be on. And if you want to use the external switch button, just connect to this digital input terminal. And this is 12 volt uh, for whole board, 12 volt. Okay, let's look at here. You can see this is a 4G module, and this module uh, is used by EU that Europe, but also have the CN for China and the AU for Australia version. So the default version is for EU, just for Europe. And this is antenna for this 4G. And this is a SIM card. You can install the SIM card, mobile phone SIM card, uh, to this socket. And here you can see some release output. And here you can see this is a 4 channel, and this is a 4 channel. That for energy meter monitoring because that have some transform. So uh, this four channel not have the energy meet function. And here you can see just use this uh, LIN that leave 
live in and nature in. And this output for load, just output L, live, and output N, nature. So this just connect to the load directly. And this is channel 2. And this is the second, uh, that is L and N in, input. And that is output for the third load and the fourth load. So just uh, use the one 220 input and this 220 output, 220 output. So they are for monitoring the load in the meet. And here you can see this for channel relay. And this time you can see here have come normal open and normal closed. So every channel will have come normal open and normal closed. Three terminal for one relay. So you can see every channel relay will have different normal open and normal close and come. And here you can see the red one, that is the wireless module. Because this support learning your own protocol or your wireless protocol. So that uh, you can use any remote 433 megahertz, uh, like use this remote to send the signal and this module will be learning this signal and save to the EPROM so that you can use any remote to prepare the signal and the country relay. And here you can see that is I square C. I square C extend. So if you have a many temperature sensor, humidity sensor, or I square C device, you just connect to this pin, this socket. And that is for clock, for date, and for ground, and for power. And here you also have a I square C interface that for RTC. You can see here, this is RTC module. That module is DS32 uh, and 31. So this is high quality. So we have not installed the socket on the PCB board because you can connect this module uh, to this socket directly by you wind it. So that will make a good contact. So if you want to use RTC, you just install this module and wind by yourself. And this is install the battery. So that can save the clock. So this is for RTC module. And here we can see this relay. This relay also we have used removal. And we have used a 16 ampere relay. So that is for large current for your load. It's enough for you to use. And this is ESP32 module. And this is antenna for ESP32 if you want to use the Wi-Fi. And here you can see, because the PCB antenna is not included with the ESP32, so it, you need to extend the antenna uh, from the ESP32. And this is the IPX socket, and this is IPX socket. So you can use this short cable and connect with socket, and connect with socket, let it connect together. So that the ESP32 module will use this antenna socket, and this antenna socket, so you can just connect with this an antenna that is installed on your power distribution box or install somewhere. Okay, this is the hardware details. And next, I will show you some demo with the Tuya application and the home assistant and the short message to use this board. Okay, let's look at this E8 keyboard, how it works. And you can see here, this is 12 volts. And I have connected with this with 220 volt, uh, this is the main power. And this socket is for this channel one, relay one output, and for this socket. I have connected with this socket, and this cable is for my fan, because I will test uh, with my fan, uh, this fan is big. So I have put it here, because I can change the speed by this fan for different current. And here we can connect with it. And this is the power incoming and 220 for this input, power input. And we will constrain relay one to out for this output. And this is 12 volts and this power supply. I have connected with this board. And also I have installed a SIM card, mobile phone SIM card. And you can see here, the red LED is blink. And that 
is connected with this GSM. Okay, let's first I will test. You can see here that is the menu country button. And you can see I can press uh, this relay one is on and off. And the relay two is on and off. On and off. So this can control by this manually country button. And this just connect with the in uh, extender switch button, such as the wall switch, and it's just connected to this way. So that is for menu country on and off. Okay, and the second, we can use this remote. You can see I can press this button. Also, you turn on, relay one, press again, relay one off. And here you relay two, and relay two off. So this is controlled by this remote. And here I have eight channel, eight button for different eight channel. Okay, let's look at this mobile phone application. This is Tuya application. I have added this E8T board to Tuya application. So you can see here that you can control every relay. So you can see uh, this is for relay one. I can turn on. And this time you can see the relay is on. And this is relay two. And the relay three, relay four. And here you can see five, six. So you can see here uh, the red LED seven and and eight so you can see this is controlled by two application that by the internet because i have used 4g so this is remote country and here you can see that is voltage this voltage is for this one this is power incoming and I can turn on because my fan needed to press this button and then the fans will be work. And so when the fan work, you can see here the power and the current they become large. And this is the energy consumption. And if I change the speed, speed low and uh, you can see the power is low and the current is low uh, this is low speed and if i change fast and you can see here the fast so the power and the current will be high uh, this is channel one that for relay one and uh, this is monitoring channel two and for this relay two and this is for relay 3, relay 3, and this is for relay 4, and relay 4. So you have the four channel monitoring the energy. You can also you can click, so that will be off. And when the fan is off, so you can see the current and the power will be become zero. And if I turn on again, and I press this button again, Turn on. And you can see the date will become large. So this is for remote monitoring the energy meet uh, by the two application. And I now I can turn off. I can turn off. And here you can see this is DS18B20 temperature sense. If I hold down this button, you can see the temperature at here that will be changed immediately. So this is the real time of the temperature sensor you have testing by this sensor. Okay, uh, we have tested this with the Tuya. And you can see here I have installed the SIM card uh, so that the board is support the short message. Now let's test with the short message. You can see my mobile phone screen that have many short message have uh, sent in history because this time I have installed this SIM card and this is a work and if I want to turn on this relay one so I just 
uh, send this message. I just can copy and paste. This is turn on relay one. So I just paste at here. You can see this command. I just click send and pay attention to my relay. You can see the relay one is on, and this is feedback from this board. The relay is on. So also, if you want to turn on all relay, so you can, I can copy this command, copy, and here, and paste, and send. You can see all relay is on because uh, this relay already is on. But you can see that I have sent this command. Uh, that will turn on all relay, and the board will feedback a short message all relay are on. That is the feedback of the state. So this is use the mobile phone without application, just send a short message to this board. Okay, let's look at this board and work with the home assistant. I have integrated this board to Raspberry Pi or KC868 server by ESP Home. So that will be very easy to integrate to Home Assistant. Uh, you can see my mobile phone and also you can use the PC. Uh, this 8 channel import state uh, just by these buttons. Uh, so you can see when I press this button, you can see uh, this is on and off for this button. And here you can see that is 8 channel relay. You can control any relay. So you can see here, I can turn on all relay, each channel relay, and all relay off, relay on and relay off. And here you can see that is the power energy meet. That is four channel power energy meet, and this is four one and four one four one. We can test it. I connect with my two hundred twenty socket, and now you can see I can turn on relay one. So this is relay one. The relay one output is connect with my fan. So you can see here that relay one is on, LD is on. And now we can see uh, this is voltage is 20, 228 volt. And I can turn on my fan because my fan needed to turn on by this button firstly. So you can see uh, this is become a faster running. And here you can see this is power, and this is current, and this is energy, and this is voltage. So this is for channel 1, uh, so have channel 2 and channel 3 and channel 4. Totally have 4 channels. So I can change my speed of the fan, and you can see the power and the current. And you can see it changed because that will feedback by every seconds and change large. And you can see uh, this power is changed and this current is changed. And I change a little. And with some seconds it changed, it updates, and uh, this will be changed. So this is use the fan and the load for energy monitor in home assistant and we can turn off okay thanks for watching